Applied in Isley. Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy, back at it again with another Minecraft video, and today we're going to be talking about Nizzly Y, which is one of my top three favorite things to talk about, with the other two being anime and the grind. Nizzly Y, which stands for the National Security Language Initiative for Youth, is a high school study abroad program run by the United States Department of State and the American Council for International Education. Every year, Nisley Y awards a number of merit-based scholarships to high school students in the United States to study abroad in one of a number of different countries to study the language of said country. So as of right now, Nisley offers programs for a total of eight different languages. So you got Korean, Mandarin Chinese, Indonesian, Hindi, Tajiki Persian, Russian, Arabic, and Turkish. The host countries can vary from year to year, but some of the more popular locations in the past have included South Korea, Taiwan, mainland China, Indonesia, Russia, Morocco, Jordan, Tajikistan, Turkey, South Korea. In terms of program timeline and duration, you have two different options to choose from. You could choose to do the summer program, which runs during the summer, or you could choose to do the academic year program, which runs during the academic year. The availability of languages and countries can vary depending on whether you do a summer program or an academic year program. So I'll leave a link to the Nisley website down below so you guys can stay up to date on program availability. All of these programs are open to American high school students who are between the ages of 15 to 18 at the start of the program. So. If you fit that description, you should apply. One of the goals of Nisley Y is to spark an interest in foreign languages and cultures in the American youth in order to cultivate a generation of globally minded citizens. And they aim to fulfill this mission by sending American high schoolers around the world every year. I know that a big barrier to studying abroad and traveling abroad in general for many people has to do with the actual cost of going and living abroad. But fortunately, the State Department is generous enough to fund the program with a number of merit scholarships. This means that for those who are accepted into the program, they can essentially study abroad for the low, low price of free. As for my experience with Nisli, I went on the Korean summer program the summer after my junior year, which was a little over a year ago at this point. I had the opportunity to travel to and live in Jeonju, South Korea for seven weeks with a cohort of high school students from across the country. And it was a pretty life-changing experience. I really don't think that I could fully capture just how absolutely amazing my Nizli experience was, so how about I just show you guys? Y'all ready? Alright, let's go.
So what did you guys think? Honestly, if that didn't make you want to apply for the program right away, I don't know what else I could do. I really cannot stress enough just how impactful this program was for me. I hold Nisli very near and dear to my heart, which is why I want to share it with all of you guys. As I said earlier, my time in Jonju with Nisli was a really life-changing experience. There's a pretty sharp distinction between Lordric before Nisli and Lordric after Nisli. I went through several entire character arcs during that trip and I definitely think that I was really able to develop and grow as a person as a result of studying abroad with Nisli. The level of freedom I had in Jeonju was unlike anything I had ever experienced before as a high schooler and it's something that I really haven't experienced since. I imagine it's similar to what it would be like to live on a college campus, but again, I wouldn't know because I'm, I'm at home. You know, there was always something to do every day over in Jeonju. Hiking in the mountains of Andong in 100 degree weather, visiting one of the biggest water parks in the world, visiting the famous Lotte World, going to my first concert ever, cosplaying as a Korean schoolgirl, and even our daily routine became so memorable. Going to class for seven to eight hours every day, getting lost on the streets of Geksa in downtown Jeonju, hitting the Norebang and Pishibang, taking the last bus home, doing homework until one in the morning, editing videos until three in the morning, then going to bed to do everything else again the next day. Every day was action-packed and filled to the brim, which meant that I lost a lot of sleep, but it was definitely worth it. And I haven't even talked about the food yet. Before coming to Korea, I had never had Korean food before, so I was definitely blown away. Like bingsu, samgyeopsal, Korean fried chicken, I literally have dreams about it. But I would say that the thing that made my Nisli experience memorable was the people that I was with. I was in a cohort of a total of 20 kids from across the United States and we were essentially just a bunch of American teenagers wandering the streets of South Korea with our very limited knowledge of the language and culture. It definitely got a little hectic and chaotic but it was so much fun and I wouldn't trade it for the world. There was also my host family, my host mom and host brother who were so kind and welcoming to me. Even though we were only there for a short time, we got really close and even to this day we still check in on each other. There were also the teachers at the high school where we were taking classes and all the other Korean friends that I made while in Jeonju. Not gonna lie, I might have cried on the bus back to the airport. And I think this goes to show just how impactful the Nisli experience can be for someone. And I don't think it's hyperbolic to say that this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. You could take a family trip abroad while you're in high school or even younger, 
or you could study abroad when you're in college or you could even just go abroad whenever when you're a real adult but I don't think any of those would be the same as studying abroad with Nisli Y. It's kind of hard to articulate this intangible aspect of what makes Nisli so great but let me try to put it this way. The vibes in Jeonju were unmatched. I had never experienced anything like that before and I really don't know if I'll experience anything like it again. Studying abroad is not something most high schoolers do. Traveling to a completely new country where you don't even speak the language with people whom you don't even know is a very, very different experience from just about anything else you'll do in high school. And I think the experiences you can gain from that, especially at that age, are just invaluable. It was my trip to South Korea that really helped me figure out what I might want to study in college. It's what I wrote about for probably half of all my college essays. It's what helped me grow and develop into the person you guys see today. Nisli really was such an impactful and life-changing experience for me. I don't know if Nisli is the thing that got me into the schools that I did, but I do think that if I hadn't gone to South Korea with Nisli that I probably wouldn't have gotten into the schools that I did. And I could go on and on and on about my trip to Jeonju with Nisli, but that isn't the point of today's video. I'm not here to gush about my love for Jeonju and Nisli, but rather to convince you guys to apply as well. Hopefully by gushing about my feelings, I was able to convince you guys to at least consider applying. Nisli is such a great program, so I honestly don't know why more people don't know about it. Last year, there were about 3,000 applications to Nisli across all of their programs, which is not a lot when you consider the fact that there are millions upon millions of high schoolers in America. So if by making this video, I'm able to convince a couple more people to apply, then I would consider that a win. If you're interested in foreign languages, foreign cultures, linguistics, international relations, diplomacy, government, and anything in between, I really recommend you guys apply. And even if you aren't interested in any of those things, I still suggest you guys apply because the Nisli experience is so invaluable and worthwhile that I think anyone can benefit from it. Since the program itself is free and there is no application fee, the only thing you really have to lose by applying is the time you spend on your application. This means that there are basically no downsides to applying and the return on investment is just unreal. So after you guys watch this video, you have between now and November 5th to go to nisleyforyouth.org and complete your application. If you guys are interested in some advice for completing your applications, I'll leave a link in the description to a video on my second channel where I go more into the Nisley application itself. And if you guys are interested in seeing more of what I did while I was in South Korea, I'll leave a link in the corner somewhere and maybe also in the description to a playlist of a series of vlogs I did while I was in Jeonju with Nisli. So one final time, please apply to Nisli. Please, please apply to Nisli. Apply to Nisli. If any of you guys are interested in applying to Nisli, leave a comment down below because I kind of want to see if I was actually able to convince any of you guys. With that being said, be sure to like and subscribe for some more great content. That's all for today folks, so I'll see you guys next time. Bye!